Well, greetings everyone. Michigan Magazine TV is on the road. We're just off the expressway on I-75 near West Branch. As you can see, the traffic is zooming by. We've always passed this place that we're at many times. And a few years ago, or more than a few years ago, we stopped off this exit and took this long driveway in. I think it was uh, exit 2... no, no, no. Exit um, 215, I think it was. And then came down M30 to this long driveway just under the overpass and uh, it used to be a wonderful wonderland of arts and crafts. We're in the parking lot of this place and it was a gallery and antiques and of course the parking lot has since overgrown I guess they closed up and on the sill high of the, the, the uh, side of the hill up there you can see cows and I thought I saw a deer up there don't know if I can get any close-ups. No, I guess I can't, but this is the building. There it is. It used to be a crafts bar here in West Branch. What a concept. Did some wonderful things here, but it's been closed for a few years, I guess. But uh, here it is, sitting vacant. I believe it's sitting vacant. Believe anybody's allowed in there. You can see there's a no trespassing sign, which we will of course observe. We're in the parking lot. The building. Wouldn't it be nice if someone reopened this little treasure along I-75? I remember going in there once, and uh, we were at one time going to do a story on Michigan Magazine. But it is quite the building. Just off the expressway, you have to make a few turns off I-75 to get here, but in any event, it's a, it's a wonderful little antique barn, I guess it was. I just can't get over those cows over there on the hillside grazing leisurely. What a beautiful scene here. Just off the beaten path. I thought I'd stop in here today and talk with the owners to see if we couldn't stop on by and visit and do something, but uh, they're no longer in business. As you can tell, it's kind of a, in need of a little love and care, but it's still in, in wonderful condition. Let's get another angle up here. Look at the, the old antique. Looks like a uh, some sort of farm implement there. Let's get a little closer look. Look at all the boulders that they brought in for the, the landscaping and the parking lot. Nice big parking lot, all gravel. But look at this. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? That's what we need is more of off the beaten path and people patronizing them and stopping them by because I remember there was a lot of wonderful things in this little building off I-75. So there you go. On the road you never know what you're going to find and it's too bad we just uh, didn't get here in time to feature it on Michigan Magazine. I'm sure a lot of people would love to go inside those doors, those closed doors. Look at the porch on that. An old tin roof. Huge porch. And it looks like it was a wonderland at one time. Here in the midst of northern Michigan. <laughs> I believe those cattle or cows on the hill could care less than I'm here. Well, let's get back in the road. Maybe we can find some more adventures off the beaten path. So long. Old antique warren off the beaten path. Wish we would have met. Take care.